What's up guys, we're real beats, and today I want to show you guys how to make a Travis Scott type beat with this really cool new plugin called Trifecta. I was sent this plugin by the guys over at Sauce AudioWare to check out early, and I usually don't do reviews, but this one was pretty impressive straight out the box. So what even is Trifecta? This is going to be your one-stop shop for sound selection pretty much. A lot of plugins these days, they just throw a bunch of presets and they just call it a day and then you just left to search for the good presets. But out of my experience with Trifecta, they all pretty much sound good. Any sound you choose in here is a three in one layer preset, which means it has a bass, a lead and a key on which it does allow for a lot of flexibility when you wanna manipulate and change the sound. They even have really cool features such as a built in core generator, which is super helpful, especially to have directly in the plugin. They also have reverse, halftime, and glide effects that you can access right on the front page. Now, if you go further into the plugin by clicking this button, you'll get access to all the effects such as LFO, reverb, delay, distortion, you name it. Now, a big reason for why I like this so much is because it's set up how a producer would use it. For example, if you look at the LFO here, things are linked to it like pitch, panning, filter, and volume, which you can change around however you like, which can be a hassle if you set it up yourself using your own effects chain in the mixer. And one of my favorite effects to add is the vibrato effect. And if you just activate it with the LFO and switch it to pitch, you can easily add this effect to any sound that you like. Now for full disclosure, I can give my honest opinion. I am not paid to review this or anything. I just thought it was really cool. I thought it was innovative and I like things that increase the workflow and it changes how you actually use the sounds that you have. And this does that. The only thing that got me when I first opened it was I couldn't figure out how to activate the effects for like the first minute or so. Um, because I'm used to having like an on and off button, but basically all you need to do is just click the name. And if it's lit up, that means that it's on. So if you wanna check this plugin out, I have a special link linked in the description or a comment section down below for you. This is an affiliate link, which means if you get the plugin, you are directly supporting this channel as well. But like I always say, always do your research before purchasing anything online. But what I wanna do now is show you my favorite sounds I found in Trifecta and cook up a Travis Scott type beat. All right, so let's go ahead and get to this Travis Scott type beat. So since it's October, I kind of want to do something a little bit more spooky. Um, so what we can do is actually use a harmonic minor. So we can go here and we can, uh, let's just do an E. I think that'd be nice. Um, let's type E, boom, all right. My BPM 135, I think anything below one, 140 and below, maybe 125 to 140 is like nice little range. So you can kind of choose whatever you need, but I chose 135. Um, so for the melody, this is the sound that I'm using right here, okay? Um, just so you can see the preset. Um, and this is what it sounds like, okay? Uh, so I just wanna make a nice, simple melody here. So let's start on our root. Now, usually I like to do dyads in the harmonic minor because sometimes it can sound too harsh or have too much tension. So I kinda want this to be bounced. I kinda, I'm hearing it go down. So we can do that and maybe we could copy that same pattern. Okay, so I kind of want this creepy vibe. So I'm gonna copy this over. Um, let's see, and then maybe we could maybe do something like that. Okay, and then I'm kind of hearing it go down like this in my head. I think this is a good start, actually, let's see. All right, I like that. I'm gonna turn the metronome off and I'm just gonna add some top notes. So I'm gonna take this E, pull it up an octave, and then from here, you can use any note that you want. I like that one better. as so simple as that let's copy it over so that's our melody i like this let's go ahead and move on to our second sound all right next up, we're going to do our counters so i want to choose one of these sounds here and i'll just show you them for like a to layer the melody um and 
It just depends whichever one I like the best. So I'm gonna just copy this, layer it. And let's try this one. Okay, I instantly like this one. I like like how much uh, depth it has. Um, so I, I think I'm gonna pull this up an octave too, cause that could be a problem with when we put our bass in. Control up. Okay, turn the velocity down. I think that's good. Um, so now with this one, and if I didn't show the sound, I think I did, but this is the sound I'm using here. It's like see the preset. Um, let's turn this on, and we're just gonna kind of use the same like notes and stuff. So. Maybe we can. Now we we'll make a chord up from here to land here. try to turn this down just a little bit using the velocity down here just to blend it in okay I think that's good and I'm gonna just copy this over in the same spot so I think that's good for the counters okay very simple this is kind of just layered um, and now we can move on to our synth next up we have our synth so I want to kind of make this a lead like sound so what I did is I pulled the glide up just to kind of give us a like spooky vibe um just because usually when you like detune the pitch and stuff it kind of gives you that like darker sound so let's go in here and i just want to find a basic nice melody so i'm gonna just click around just start on like the root if we want I want some slightly melodic because you know Travis Scott kind of has that like melodic element to it too. Okay, so I like this. And what I'm gonna do is just cheat. I'm gonna take this because if you look, this F sharp is the same. So this melody will work, but it will sound different because of the start note. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'll play it. You see how it sounded different? Um, just because of that octave jump even though it's the same exact melody so uh, yeah that's a little trick you can use too but yeah I, I like this melody um i think what we can do is let's see it's pad yeah so this isn't like very melodic so i think what we can do is just copy this here i just want to hear a solo real quick Okay, that's sounding nice. So I think what we can do now is do the bass line and then get onto the drums. Now, lastly, for our melody, we have our bass line. So this is the bass I found that sounded pretty good for the style. Um, now, with the bass line here, if we look at our melody, we don't really have one necessarily. I guess we could use this E to D sharp, um, but I am going for something a little bit more melodic, kind of like that dark circus type of vibe. So the thing with the harmonic minor is there's a lot of tension. So it's kind of you kind of got to use your ear with this. So for the bass, I think what I'm gonna do, we gotta find where this activates. Okay, right here. So what I like to do when I'm trying to find like a bass line, I will usually do something like this, kind of do like a rock style bass line. Zoom in, and I'm gonna just quantize these. Boom. And this is like a quick way to find like a nice bass line. Let's try this. Okay, that's too dark for me. I'm gonna make a chord upwards. So this is sound, sound like a rock beat kind of. But. Hmm. 
I kind of like both. I think we can use this. And then I'm gonna just take one from each so we can have like kind of like an 808 style. And then we could play around with some of these. Like we could throw this up, control D. I kind of like the offset too, so I'm gonna use this again over here. All right, let's try this. Let's pull it down an octave. Okay, I think that should be fine. If we put the kick in, that should sound pretty good. So let's go ahead and do the drums. Okay, so now we're on to our drums. Now this should be pretty easy. Now this can be difficult because with Travis Scott stuff, usually the drums aren't doing a lot, but they sound like they're doing a lot because they hit really, really hard, right? So you gotta kind of find that balance in what you like versus the style. So um, that's why I have a bunch of snares here because I kind of want to layer some of these. Um, so. And I usually mute some of the sounds because I don't like to ruin the end for myself, like the final beat. Put these on one bar. And then what we can do is turn these up, of course. See if I can get away with doing this. Oops. Okay, and I think I want to add the hi hats just so we can have like a little reference to go with. Um, and why is this not playing? Maybe we take this off bar. Oh wait, that's why. Let's chop that up. I'm gonna go to one fourth. Okay, it's starting to come together, taking a bit, but uh, I think we just throw like a little snare in here and let's kind of use some of these like symbols and stuff. Yeah, okay, so the open hat's really starting to make it like crispy, so I'm uh And I want to push this kick just a little bit more. Okay, I think that's successful. I think that sounds about right. Um, so we're going to play everything all together. And this is unmixed or anything. So, um, you know, it might, I don't know how the whole thing will sound. But let's play it once or twice through.
right and that's gonna be it for this video links will be in the description or a comment section down below for the trifecta plugin if you want to check it out but that's all i got for you hopefully you enjoyed make sure you like comment subscribe if you're new and i'll see you in the next one peace